What's up everyone, Dr. Jacob Wilson here, the Muscle PhD, and the question today is, should there be differences in training between men and women? Well, that's a really good question. Let's see what the studies actually show. Now, think about this for a second. Have you ever gone to the gym, right? If you guys out there, you go to the gym and you see women doing a leg workout and they do like, you know, five sets of, of lunges to the front, five sets of rear lunges, five sets of lunges out to the side, you know what I mean? Five sets of squats, one-legged leg press, banded, you know, laterals, right? And they keep going on and on. The adductor and abductor machine, right? And then you got the guy over on the squat rack and they're sucking wind for five minutes between sets, right, of squats, doing sets of eight, right? We see that this happens all the time in the gym, but is there any merit to it? Well, studies, and I mean dozens and dozens of studies, have actually looked at what's called fatigue resistance in men versus women, okay? And they've taken men and women and looked at percentage of their one repetition maximum, for example, and seen how many reps could they do and how quickly could they recover between sets. And basically what they show is that women at any given intensity can perform more reps than men can perform. And also, between sets, they recover faster. So in essence, like rep for rep, set for set, women wipe the floor with men in a lot of these studies. That means that they're more fatigue resistant and can handle higher amounts of volumes. Why is that the case? Well, there's a number of different uh, reasons. One is that women seem to have greater uh, reliance on aerobic pathways. If you look at the enzymes in their muscles, they're more aerobic and less anaerobic than guys are in general. <clears throat> the second reason is men tend to have larger muscle bellies than women. What does that mean? It means that if you look at the arteries and the veins that sit between any two muscles, the male, when they lift, will cut off circulation to those veins and arteries. And what that basically means is that you're cutting off oxygen, and you're almost occluding the muscle faster, right? So you can't get as much volume and you can't get as much rest and it takes you more time to recover between sets than females, okay? So again, just based on that, it would be that women can have higher volume than men and maybe should perform higher repetitions, okay? Secondly, when you look at higher volume training that causes more muscle damage, interestingly enough, women seem to recover faster than men. And one of the reasons for that is that estrogen itself may actually have a protective impact on muscle. So that basically means that it can actually help recover from muscle damage, right? So estrogen does have a benefit in that you recover faster. That means that women can maybe perform more frequently, okay? So what's a good take home message on this? If you look at females, a lot of times they train their glutes every single day. How is it that a female could use bands and you know, a 20 pound barbell and make gains in their glutes better than guys. One of the reasons why they can't lift as heavy, but they make up for it with high frequency. So maybe if, if you're a female and you're watching this, yeah, maybe you could train your glutes five days, six days a week, okay? But there's also research that shows that when you do heavy training, there's a study that basically they did 80% of their 1RM for sets of five, the men, beat the women on recovery, meaning that at the next day, 48 hours later, they were more recovered than the women. So it seems that guys who lift, when they lift heavy, recover faster than women, so they have the edge on the heavy lifting, okay? So take home message is basically, women maybe the majority of their training should be high volume, higher repetition, shorter rest period lengths, and men can utilize more of that heavier training and recover faster. It doesn't mean that females shouldn't use heavy lifting. They should, but the ratio might be lower than a male should be. Whereas a male can use higher, heavier training more frequently than women. So thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next time.